Welcome to YMCA Digital Studio Radio Theater. Tonight's program, entitled Bra Chicken, Bra Cockroach, was brought to you by Aja. Remember, if it wasn't Maggie or Jumbo, it's again. Mmm, that's good. Once upon a time in Badibu, Bra Chicken and Bra Cockroach were living together in the same house. Their agreement was that they would both go out and find food, eat together and share their daily household chores. On a certain day, Bra Chicken told Bra Cockroach, Wake up, Bra Cockroach. Let's go to the farm to clear the field to plant some corn. Ah, sorry Bra Chicken. I'm feeling very sick today. I can't go with you to the field. I will join you tomorrow. So Bra Chicken went alone and cleared the field. On the next day, Bra Chicken goes to wake up Bra Cockroach. Wake up, Bra Cockroach. Let's go to the store and buy some corn seed to plant. Oh, Bra Chicken, I thought I told you yesterday I was sick. I feel no better than I was yesterday. Sorry, I might join you tomorrow. Off Brad Chicken goes to the store to buy the corn seed and took it to the farm. Early next morning, Brad Chicken goes up to wake Brad Cockroach. Hey, Brad Cockroach. You mean you're still in bed? The sun is already out. Anyways, let's go to the farm to plant the seed. You know I can carry those bags of seed. I haven't been well lately. Oh, I already took them yesterday. After buying them from the store, you only need to help me plant them. Oh, bro, chicken. Why can't this wait a little longer? The rain won't come for another month. Can't we wait for another week? Ah, no, bro, cockroach. Didn't you hear the weather report? The climate is already badly damaged. I won't have as much rain as in the previous years. We need to plant early to make the best of the little rain we have. Sorry, Bra Chicken. I can't help you plant them today. If I do, I will surely die. I feel worse than I was yesterday. And what good will a great harvest be to a dead cockroach? I think I need some time to regain my strength. Oh, Bra Cockroach, I will not want you to die. You are my closest friend, and I will be all lonely. The crops won't be of much good if my closest friend is not here to share with me. I will go and plant them, and when you are much better, you can always join me. Oh, bright chicken, what a great friend you are. You have spoken well. Bright chicken walked alone on the farm for the whole planting season, without no help from bra cockroach or anyone else. Bra Cockroach always had a good excuse for not helping out on the farm. One day during the raining season, Bra Chicken would notice some weeds among the crops. So on the following day, he went to Bra Cockroach and said, Morning, Bra Cockroach. How do you feel? Oh, I couldn't feel any better. I feel great. We really need to do some weeding on the farm today. The weeds are as high as the crops. You mean with all this rain you want me to go to the field with you? It is not fair. At the end of the rainy season, Bra Chicken was tired from all the work on the farm. Bra Cockroach had lots of energy because he had not lifted a finger to help. During the harvest time, Bra Chicken would spend every day harvesting crops from the field and bringing them to his home. Every day, he would return and discover a wicked surprise. The crops he had harvested the day before were always gone. I think it's time I put an end to this. My body is tired, and if I don't stop this soon, there will be no more food to eat. 
One morning, Brad Chicken made a plan. He went out early in the morning to his farm, but later he moved slowly and silently back to his house to see what was happening. He was not surprised to find Brad Cockroach digging a deep hole and hiding the crops inside. Brad Chicken waited to see what would happen next. Brad Cockroach lay on his back and began feasting on the crops he had left while singing. Toy chicken, toy chicken, me food. Chay, chay, chay. I eat the food. I feel good. I break the harvest. I break the body. Chay, chay. It's not a sin. Don't tell bra chicken. Chay, chay. Toy chicken, toy chicken, me food. Chay, chay. I eat the food. I feel good. I break the harvest. I break the body. Hearing this, Brad Chicken was so angry he ran out of hiding and started chasing Brad Cockroach, who quickly ran into the woods. You liar. You wicked cockroach. You suck. From that day on, Brad Chicken hated Brad Cockroach. This is why whenever you see a chicken around a cockroach, it will chase it away as fast as possible. This program has been a presentation of the YMCA Digital Studio with your sound engineer Karamo Suso, David the Chicken, Usman Gay the Cockroach, Amina Tafane the narrator, and my humble self, Mari, your host. Tonight's program was brought to you by Aja. Aja, mmm, that's you. <laughs>